Welcome to Thursday. Uh, yeah, Thursday. I'm going to make some paella, I think, for tea tonight. Just, uh, I'm not too sure if I've been updating people on what I've been, we've been eating in our household. Uh, but yeah, I think one of the daughters going out. So yeah, not much time in the last couple of days. Um, so a lot of these, again, I keep saying it, but some of these videos aren't being too productive. I do apologize. Um, but again, you, you know where the fast forward is, you know where the skip is. Come back in a few days. Uh, but we're getting there, we're doing a bit by bit. Um, just had a, got off the phone for my dad. Um, I've, I've located, <sighs> where's it gone? I've located, I had located it. I've now lost it. We had the correct hinge that we needed. Jesus, where's it gone? There. Jesus, I put things down. Um, so it's a number two. It's what he wants. Um, it must have come off one of the spare doors that I bought. So, bang on. So we've got, he's got all the pins, so he's gonna rebush it and everything and repin it. Um, so yeah, we need to get that posted up to him so we can crack on. Um, he's fitted a mechanical fuel pump to the engine now, tested that, that seems to run all right. So that's good. He's found a load of horn bits up there as well. He's told me to look after the horn bits for this as well. We've confirmed by some of the subscribers, thank you very much, that there's a Mark III steer wheel that I've got, uh, which doesn't have a horn push. Uh, He's got everything for a horn push for our 67. Apart from the chrome ring, there's a little chrome ring. Anyone got chrome ring laying around? Let us know. Um, what are you saying? Yeah, he's struggling to get down now. He could have maybe done next weekend, the 19th. But I've got something on the 19th as well, so we've ruled out that weekend. Um, so I think it's gonna be nearly February now before he gets down. Um, not his fault, nor mine, but it's mine. Uh, so yeah, um, we're gonna start running out of jobs to do on this soon. Uh, but we can maybe start the prep work and we get the heating in, we can at least get some primer on this and start doing some of the rub. We know we've got to do the doors and things like that. Uh, so that's that. Uh, I've talked about, I really want to get the um, camper van on the road this year, so what we might find we'll do as an update is we're going to swap the jet black for the camper van. So the jet black will go up to my dad's and the camper van will come down here. Um, he has also offered to trailer down, come, come down with a trailer and uh, collect it as well which is, you know, good old dads, aren't they? They're fantastic. Uh, so yeah, a little bit of waffle there. So I just wanted to update you with all the things. Um, got a few other parts waiting to arrive. I've got your know, mega squirt dashboard and stuff to do as well in a few videos time once, I, once I'm waiting for some parts. So what I just do as a thing is try and fit those little plates that go on the handbrake cables. Oh, and show you the painted handbrake. Just look at that baby. Ah, look at that. Amazing, amazing. So uh, these, they've got a little slot in them. They go over the cables. The best they can. They're all a bit fiddly when they're new anyway, and God knows what make these are and whether they're only brilliant or not. Yeah, like so. Line the holes up the best you can. Plates go on top and screws and bolts go through them. I think some cars maybe used to have self tappers. Um, these are massive holes, so uh, they're going to be um, I've got walls and nuts and bolts. Obviously, the trickiest bit is to uh, get down to them. Yeah, lovely. Okay, I've got the screws through one side. Uh, this is where the tricky bit comes in. I've got to put the little nuts and bolts and washers on the other side um, by myself. Um, I may have to get the uh, teenage daughter out here in a minute to help me, but we'll uh, see if we can get her, at least put them on a little bit tight and then we can just finish it off with her once we're there. Ah, 
unbelievably, I seem to have long enough arms to get to both bits. And if you can see, my head in a way. Help if it's on the other ratchet, but yeah, wow. And the wife says I have no uses. Uh, uh, only just though, if we had a slightly bigger car, we'd be in trouble. Hey. Lovely. Obviously handbrake needs all being adjusted up yet. Let's do the other side. Hey. Lovely jubbly. Uh, just handbrake just needs adjusted up now. I think I'll do them all right. Uh, shout out if I've done them wrong, because we'll just take them off again. Something in my head used to tell me there used to be metal plates underneath as well, but as far as I don't think they are, I think my head's just uh, playing tricks with me. Uh, yeah. Let's see what else we've got to do. Getting a bit, bit knackered at the moment. Okay, last bit for the video. Uh, I had a slightly used old rubber grommet, but I know it's a mini one, so we should be able to get older and more. Um, these are the two wires that are going to go down to the push switch, which should be turning up this week, even though the week's nearly over. Um, looking at somebody pictures online, somebody sent me a picture. Uh, it went above this switch. I just got to remember how this switch goes now. Does it go like that? Oh, it's got... Goes like that. Doesn't matter which way it goes, but obviously the wires are going at the top, which would make sense up to the dashboard. Um, we need to make sure we've got a bit of clearance. So we mark a hole, drill it, we've got a cone drill somewhere there. We make a hole, dab a little bit of paint around them where we've drilled, as they do in wheeler dealers to stop it rusting. And uh, yeah. Cool. All right, gonna have to leave it there because. My cone drill at that small size is blunt as anything. I've got a step drill somewhere. I haven't seen that for a few years. Um, and yeah, I'm in a little bit of pain, so I'm just gonna leave it there for now and try and come back out a bit later. So uh, yeah, so we're nearly there. And um, worst case, I'll get the little dremel. So basically that rubber grommet is right behind the steering rack, basically, where the big um, extra panel goes on where you know the bolts go through um, it actually pops out there sort of thing so I guess it gets a bit protected um, it's very tight but we'll do that and get the old grommet in and bish bash bosh where my grommet's gone now it's over there and uh, we get that wire dropped through next time anyway just a little update sorry about that um, but hey it's better than no update All right. Take it easy, see you tomorrow, it's Friday, it's the end of the week.